I got a little bit weird this weekend. Not gonna lie, bro. It's kind of like if your girl has coworkers. Oh my! What you mean, bro? <laughs> no, no, no. What no. the fuck, bro? <laughs> no, no. I'm not. I didn't. <laughs> we get pulled over. Cops get us out the car. They search. They find a pistol. Kim, yo, yo, Kim, Kim is out here getting it right now. Bro. She was saying, well, I'll do anything yeah. to uh, look younger. Um, and even if it involves eating poop. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> like, I heard Pete got that thing on him. So I hit up SNL like, let me get Pete's number. She want, She literally <laughs> said, I want to see what this BDE is about. Yeah. Uh, let's What's talk about it, bro. What's going to happen? So... What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Before the Cut, where the best conversations happen in the barbershop before the haircut. We're in the building right now. We yes, are definitely sir. in the building. We got Mr. Evan. Guess who's back? And we got Gio back in the again. cut. It's a scary sight. What's going on, fellas? Yes, sir. We up in here right now. Hey, bro, can we just acknowledge real quick that for the past, what, month, bro, we all been eating right, drinking our water, bro. The, I mean, y'all been hitting the gym, but and, we uh, out here, bro. We, 2022, we out here. You you got the indoor and our thighs. treadmill. Hey, I definitely got the indoor treadmill. Hey, and our thighs are out too. At least at least me and Gio. I know, bro. I got, next time I wear shorts. <laughs> I thought about it too. I'm like, fuck. I don't want to be the only one though. Yeah, I've I've been really getting into it this summer. Honestly, man, I'm 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 real big on like the five inch, five to seven inch seam shorts. The skies are out, baby, in Vegas, and the bro, thighs guys, are you got the hoochie the, shorts, and over the here. thighs <laughs> are gonna be out with it. The, hey, but at least you guys don't have the tan line because that shit would look crazy, bro. Imagine if you had hoochie shorts and a tan line. Oh, well, you gotta do it properly, and you gotta wear a speedo when you tan. <laughs> you be in a speedo? Yo, I cap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know Evan be out there. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, out. yo, I actually been out Pink by the pool. Too. I kind of feel bad for those people because especially like I would say maybe about a month ago, like the upper thighs were a little bit white, yo. And I was, yeah. yo, I, I, I was just down there rolling up those shorts. Maybe a little something, something was hanging out. I didn't know, but you're on guess what? In the back. I don't lie, bro. Guess what? In the back. Guess what? We're, we're, we're getting some nice rays on these things. So yes, hot, bro. Today it's hot. It's, it's been hot out here. It's like 105 today. When, when are you really outside? Like you work inside, yeah. we're inside, we're inside. Like honestly, like Vegas summers. You should be outside for only like two reasons. One is to walk to your vehicle to go somewhere where you're going to be inside yes. <laughs> or you're walking to the pool. Other than that, you should not be outside. We actually talked about this on a previous episode, but uh, I had a, another one of these, uh, you know, really, really nice, productive weeks, ate super healthy, did my thing, hit the gym. Um, and I know we were talking about that balance living in <laughs> Vegas. Well, well, guess what? You did what? all that, and then well, it was Saturday. Well, guess what? <laughs> the teeter totter started to tip a little bit. I got a little bit weird this weekend. Not gonna lie, bro. It's funny because I got, I got maybe not as weird as you, bro. But when you called me, I was at J Karaoke. You ever been to J yeah. Karaoke? I haven't. I you haven't. Not? I've seen that. Yeah. We didn't get invited though. I know. Sorry, we, I, I know we. Ain't, I know we're not gonna play this game. So what you guys do this weekend? Together. Well, you know, you know, typical, you know, single gentleman, you know. Yeah. Well, not single, but. Geo, <laughs> Geo, Geo, Geo's trying no, to figure no, out his. No, 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 no. Uh, what I'm, what let's talk about it. Love life a little bit. <laughs> well, no, no, what I'm saying by that yeah, is, like well, single I'm, right? well, I'm single, but my boy right here has a lot of freedom. You know, you don't have kids. You know, right. so he's allowed to do more than the average Joe. Right, 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 dude. Right, I uh, right. average Chewy, my bad. And like once again, <laughs> like so, Friday came, and I was like, "Yo, staying in, chilling, nice, relaxing weekend." Okay. Friday night comes. I'm actually in my house. Everything's everything's cool. Um, You're watching games. I've seen you yeah. picked up with guess your feet what? out. Guess what? Toes out. Well, the guess same what? thing with this guess guy what? every guess, week. Guess what? <laughs> oh, I mean, that's a whole other topic, but I'm, I'm down like this, like, degenerate, like, sports gambling, like, this period of my life right now. And uh, I was like, gambling. yeah. Yo, those have been popping up on ads and on the TV. I think like, nah. it, it, I think it's like a sign from God. <laughs> like I, I, th I think God's trying to tell me, like, yo, you're you're getting a little bit degen. Um, but no, I, honestly, I was just staying in Friday night. I ended up um, going out Friday night, watching some games for a little bit. You know, w wasn't out too late. Saturday, I'm like, okay, I'm definitely not doing anything today. Well, guess what? I actually had a you know one of my boys swing by. They end up shooting like a music video. Um, oh, I saw that at bro. my house. Yeah, Dude, yeah. Um, yeah so he, he, he was fire. Yeah, like he comes through with. Uh, um, shout out to Jermaine. He's uh, he came through with one of his artists. You know, my my balcony like overlooks a strip, and then our pool area is uh, super nice, just like freshly remodeled. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he ended up like shooting you know music video over there. We ended up chilling there all day. Well, before you know it, like he whipped out a bottle of tequila. 
Here I said I'm going to have like a, a chill Saturday. Before you know it, I got one bottle of tequila down. Now I'm like watching the fights. Now I'm betting on more games. Now Bro, I saw your story. You were like with the dude, like recorded the music video. And then like the next one was like <laughs> watching the fights. I was like, yeah. damn, that's what's the best. Dude, I was proud of you though was, because yeah, it, yeah, it, it, yeah, you yeah. calmed yeah. down though. Sorry, Dude, you know especially I mean? my place, man. Like you guys have both been there. Like, like I wake up at night because of a flashing freaking billboard. Oh, for real? Like, dude, there's just, there's lights and banners and, like, all this shit going on on the strip. And, like, I'm telling you, dude, it's like, get, like, dude, I, 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 honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> <laughs> Like he gets up to go to the restroom, not to go to the restroom, but to look outside. He's like, yo, hey, <laughs> he's got his rope. He's like, man, what's going on over there? Yeah. He's looking out the window. <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys, I'm going to pivot a little bit. Um... Have you guys been keeping up what's going on with like YSL, Young Thug, Gunna? Was it like like a, a week? What like like two weeks ago, Gunna got denied bail, right? Yeah, and and, and now and, and now Young Thug, I think it was what last week. Yeah, um, got denied bail as well, bro. So it's it's crazy because Snitching. they're yeah, bro. So I want to talk. Uh, let's talk happen? about it, bro. What's gonna happen? So, Gio, basically, bro. I mean, you know who they yeah, are. Well, right? yeah, I know who they are. Y'all know more about it than me, you know. But like, it's okay because it's actually better that you don't really. Like for example, like Gunna's one of my favorite rappers, bro. So like, it's pushing I'm gonna be I'm gonna, pushing Pete. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be more biased because I you know I, I rock with them. I like them and shit. But for you, I'm actually really curious to hear what you gotta say about all this. So when everything started happening, bro, they got hit with the Rico case. They're saying that YSL is a gang, but you know they're claiming it's a record label, which it, it, it is. It's a registered yeah, it LLC. Um, Evan and I we had this conversation, <laughs> bro. When a Rico. If nobody knows, it's like, it's basically the federal government's trying to round, that's what they used, they, they invented that for the mob, right? Yep. To catch the mob, they were like, okay, we can't just pin a murder on the boss, but we can basically make this thing where it's like, somehow we can find, like, we'll tap your phone or talk to people, like, you put the hit, you told this guy to go shoot this person, so now you're connected now, we're yep. going to get the yep. whole conglomerate of whatever's going on. Immediately, I'm like, oh, bro, Rico is federal, like, I think federal, um, the federal government has like a 99% success rate in convictions. So they, like, if they get you, they, they have a strong case. Right? Right. Yeah. Basically, exactly, basically. So Evan and I started talking like, bro, what do you think is going to happen? Because there's like 36 people in this yeah, indictment. Yeah. The two, it's messy. It's, it's huge. So the biggest people are, you know, obviously Young Thug and Gunna. And then the list goes down from there. So what I was asking Evan is like, bro, what do you think is going to happen? Like... I don't, personally, I don't think either of them two would snitch because they're like, if, if, what, if what the federal government is basically saying is that they're the, the leaders. Yep. Now, it's everybody under them. It's the ants. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think somebody's going to snitch? I don't know. Like, I guess, Evan, what do you think, bro? What do you think is going to happen? It's really early. Yeah, like, yeah, they yeah, both yeah, got yeah, denied I mean, bail, but like. So, <sighs> first and foremost, I just want to say, I, I don't think like everyone says like, you know, what would you do? Um, you wouldn't know really that unless like you were in that situation. Right. Um, you know, that's like, that's in first and foremost. Um, the second thing that, you know, I'm going to find like very interesting is, um, you know, there's, there's obviously these two massive names, um, you know, Young Thug, Gunna, um, y'all just seen, you know, 6 9 got out of prison, what, about a year ago, right? Yeah. I mean, this guy's still getting called a rat. Um, I mean, you go to this guy's page, he's got, you know, rat emojis, like up mm. and down his YouTube videos, like the guy's getting basically slammed for it. So, um, and he's getting blackballed with like, yeah, playlists, like, yeah, YouTube, like, yeah, so like yeah, um, is number one, I think it's going to come down to, you know, like what the specific convictions are mm. for those two. Um, and I think like, I will say, I think both of them are going to cooperate some way, some, some form, mm -hmm. um, in this case. And number one, these guys are, these guys are both two massive artists, dude. Yeah, They're bro. living a high elaborate freaking lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Do you think, do you think either of those guys are going to really ride this out to 2023? Like it, they, they've basically announced that both of them will not have trials until at least 2023. Right. Um, I think young thug one that said, maybe not even like he might be until like end of 2023. Cause he's like the person they're saying is like yep. the, 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 the leader, like the, yep. the, the head honcho. Yeah. So the, the second you know, part, like compared to like six, nine situation. And I know this, the six, nine topics actually super, super controversial. Um, but Here's what I will say with that is 
you know, 6 9 situation, he, quote unquote, cooperated, okay? Um, he cooperated, uh, and, you know, you, you hear all these interviews ever since he came out, right? And, you know, that's what everyone in these interviews always say, like, yo, like, everyone calls you a snitch, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, you want to hear, like, everyone wants to hear, like, 6 9 story. And, you know, in 6 9 situation is, you know, he snitched or however you want to say it, cooperated with the feds, you know, whatever, um, based on the fact of, you know, uh, these individuals that, like, were not his friends. Mm -hmm. They were sleeping with his baby mama, girlfriend, whatever it was. He got kidnapped by these people. Um, And, like, me personally, like, there's one thing snitching when it's, like, friends or family or someone, like, you're close to. Um, and just a side note, if you should never have to snitch on a friend because a friend would never put you in that situation. Boom. If I was in a situation where I was facing 40 some years to life in prison and my only way of not going to prison for 40, 50 years, the rest of my life, whatever, is is to cooperate with the feds and and reveal these people that were were completely unfaithful unloyal um backstabbing to me like i don't think there's many people out there bro that would that would like someone does you dirty and you're gonna do 40 years for them start this i am not a gangster i don't know right i don't fucking <laughs> bro, know i grew up in a farm in montana i'm definitely not saying. a gangster <laughs> right so like <laughs> what they're getting charged for did come out like young doug is charged for like conspiring to commit murder uh Selling drugs, a bunch of shit. Gunna is really interesting, bro, because he, his only charge was being affiliated with YSL. They didn't pin him to, like, shooting anybody or doing yep. any wild shit. So, I, from looking at, straight at that, if there was going to be somebody that would, it'd be like, hey, bro, I ain't got nothing to do with this shit. I thought it was a label. I thought it'd be Gunna. Especially based on the fact of, like, all these quote-unquote ants, you know, that are under him. They're like, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take, you know... Uh, my life and spend in prison. This guy's already living a very glamorous life. For sure. And uh, yeah, bro, but like even the snitching thing is kind of crazy because like you know who Lil Reese is. Yep. So you know who he is, Joe. Yeah. Chicago, right? Yeah. So oh, got shot in the eye and stuff. yeah. So actually, at that moment, bro, like he he did a Vlad interview, and Vlad asked him like, "Do you know who?" Oh no. So before that, he got his voice got messed up because he got shot in the neck with a fucking Draco. Jesus. He was in the car by himself. A car pulls up, and there's a video of it. It's crazy, bro. They hit, they spray the car, like, I think it was, like, 20, 30 times, and they hit him right here with the Draco bullet, bro. Fucking AK-47 bullet. And Vlad asked him, yo, do you know who that was? And he's like, yeah, I don't know exactly who it is. And then Vlad was like, because he's, he, he is not a gangster. And yeah. I am not a gangster. Yeah. He was like, well, did, did you talk to, did you tell the police who? The person who shot at you with a mini AK-47, a Draco, yeah. in the neck. Did you, did you tell the police what happened? He's like, nah. I think that's stupid as fuck, bro. Yeah. If it was me, I'm yep. like, officer, he's right over there. Yeah. He's right. The motherfucker that tried to kill me is right yeah, over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I think Go that's ahead. because, um, do you think he doesn't want to deal with the repercussions? Uh, I guess it's, to me, it's not really snitching. It's, it's, it's gangster, right? It's, it's, it, 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 it's more uh, saying <laughs> who the fuck tried did. tried to kill me, bro. Yeah, exactly. It, it's, like, it's like, this guy tried to take my fucking life. I don't like that. Like, that, that, that to me is mind blowing. Is that not crazy? Yeah. And, like, look, I, I think. Maybe it's the reputation thing, but I do think it's either handled or it's going to get handled. Yep. Which is more satisfying. Yep. But let me, let me ask you, Jill. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. After this, we happen in, uh, I'm not going to say who, one of our cars, we go get some tacos. We get pulled over, right? We're smoking a low gas. Mm. Cops get us out the car. They search it. They find a pistol. Remember, it's not your car. It's either Evan or I's. But it's my car? No, no, no. It's, I, I, I don't want to say it's like, okay, I, let's just say it's my car. It's am my I car. driving or who's driving? No, no, no. It's my car. I'm like, hey, let's go, get some, let's go get some food. We're smoking weed. We get pulled over. They get us to the car. They find the pistol. Do you expect me to be like, hey, guys, it's mine? Or like, in your mind, your point of view, what do you, th- what do you think? It's not my car. Right. So they come up to you and they're like, whose is it? It's not my car. They ask me first, I say, knowing damn well it's mine. Yeah. Right? So that's what I'm saying. Like, with, with stuff like that, like, bro, if, if it's Evan's car, and I mean, it's different because guns here are illegal, but like, let's just say you have like a, you have a hot gun. Yeah. Right? And like, they come up to you and they're like, it's not mine. 
No, and damn well, it's not see, mine and it's see, not yours. See, but the thing is, look, check this out. From what I, from what I would assume, right, is there's a pistol in the car. There's three of us in the car, right? If I'm in the back, passenger, you're driving, and I say, it's not my car, right? I say, it's yeah. not my car. They're obviously going to ideas. Right. Who's gonna, who, you have to have a, if it's registered, you have to have a, what, CCW? So it's like, so then after no, that. No, no, but if, so I'm saying, high okay, is like okay. it's stolen I or know, something. No, 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 but what I'm saying is like, once they check that, once all that shit gets checked out, and it doesn't pop up, now we're fucked. Yeah. So whose is it? Yeah, all right, to get my hand printed. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> if you think it's mine, officer, come here you on. Go. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, they, they, they no, I'm, I'm laughing because that's yeah. me. I'm like, bro, I'm not no, taking no fucking charge okay. for nobody. Bro. Okay, me. Like, gonna, I'm not gonna take fault for somebody like so, like yeah, that. Yeah. You know. And that's what it comes down to. Like, based on how things are going, like end of the day, like if that's your shit, you need to man up and basically accept it. And I agree. I agree. You need to man up and accept it. And and I would never let either of you fall for something that's on me. Well, basically, what we're saying is. Yeah, I'm telling. If it's a, yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I ain't going to jail for nobody. I don't know about you guys, but I've been, I've, I've been, I, I follow all these goddamn pages um, on social media. I don't know if you guys do, like, like, Holly, room like Hollywood Unlocked. Oh, um, yeah. Obviously, Shade Room, um, Hood's Finest. Um, you guys see that? I art, love them. You guys see the article today? Um, the, the the chick who was basically uh, chasing down her cheating boyfriend. Um, had an air tag in his car. No. I don't know, like somewhere on him or something in his bag. I'm not. I'm. I'm not even sure. My but, boy was but, caught but, lagging, but, bro. <laughs> yo, <laughs> cheating ass moves. I'm gonna cheat. Like this is literally the headline: Woman tracks cheating boyfriend to a bar with Apple air tag and kills him by running him over three times. <laughs> oh my! Oh, she kills. Bro, him. she killed. Yeah, him? Indiana woman charged with murder. Bro, can we talk <laughs> about? Okay, how, okay. How, no, hold on, yeah. hold on. <laughs> Like, bro, yo, that's it, wild. These air tags, though, I was are just pretty crazy, say, bro. bro. You guys bro, have one? Little, no. What was it? You guys have one? No. Nah, bro. You know what I think is crazy, though? I have a friend, bro, out in LA. He's, he was, he, well, he, he's, he's technically still married, right? Oh, gosh. But he's like, he's not with his wife no more. Okay. But I, he calls me from time <laughs> to time, you know, he calls me from time to time. He's like, hey, bro. He's like, hey, bro, like, I'm kind of tripping on my, on my ex, you know? I was like, Why? Like, bro, she be going out too much. Like, what do you mean she be going out too much? How do you know that? She don't have no social media. I thought you said. He's like, dude, I uh, got this no. XM radio subscription on her car. Yeah. That allows me to track the car. Oh, my God. I'm like, that dude, you're cool. such Yo, a Yo, through radio, XM? Bro. Through XM radio, bro. Wow. Bro, I'll, I'll be about, honest. Like, I didn't even know XM did that. Bro, me, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, but like, for example, the Jeep that I have, you can, you, there's like an app in case someone steals. You can basically track the car. Yeah. I thought hey, what um? What is it? That thing that you said that you used to track your your girl's car? App that's connected to the car. Your, your chick drives your Jeep. Uh huh. You download the the the, the Jeep app <laughs> onto your phone. Techno yeah, Technology is getting crazy, all right. So, like, I think it was probably like three, four years ago. I, I started using those um those tiles. Well, Bluetooth. Yeah. So it's essentially a device. Um, a device that you can that you uh, pair to your phone through an app, and then you put it in anything. And as long as it's within like a Bluetooth radius, um, you can basically you know find the device. Apple's AirTags, man, like these things are tiny. They're I've like it, it's like it's like a size of a, um, a a penny or something. But you can put it in, like in your wallet. I mean, anything that you essentially want to track. Um, truthfully, I mean, you can you can put it on a person. You can put it in a fucking car. <laughs> like, uh, bro, so how do you, you just charge it? And how long does the, the thing last? No, you, you you don't even have to charge it, bro. It's um no, nah. yeah, it's like uh, it, it uses. I think like, like such. I mean, I'm assuming there's probably some like you know they it probably wears out after a certain amount of time. But I've never had to. I don't. I don't even think you can charge them. I think, I don't, like I, I guess it'd be kind of cool. Like if I put it, like on my kid's backpack or something. But yeah, like, yeah. to oh, that's crazy, bro. bro have that, you ever had to track bro, your that's girl, how, bro? Dude, dude, that's Hell how no. that's have, how have crazy you? people are what? though. People like track your girl. Yeah, or like vice versa. Like, have you ever had no. your shit? Yo, people are extremely controlling these days, and nobody has like like everyone has trust issues. You miss me man. with that? Yeah, yeah that's why yeah, I'm yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, fuck. So I'm still mind blown at the fact that like, Shorty doesn't trust you that much that she put it in your car to <laughs> see where you're going. I yeah. ran him over and killed him. Yeah, 
Yeah. Life. But but honestly though, I mean with like That's Apple so great, like bro. I mean so n- now you can do shit like that, right? Where it's like you can just, you know, slip in someone's car and their purse whatever. Uh, I mean, Apple's been doing, you know, share location for a minute and I know people that are crazy on that. Like Like re- like couples? Yeah. This is kind of on that topic. Did you guys uh <laughs> this was just in a uh I think it was um Apple, uh, Apple had their keynote uh, yesterday. Bro, and 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 they you announced, oh dude, dude, unsend messages. Edit, can you can you edit can edit right them. Now? Yeah, so, so I don't I'm, think so. Uh, yeah, no. Or so you can edit your message. Yeah, so, well, no. Not, not only can you edit, Does erase it all. Not only can you can edit, you can you can unsend like you do on Instagram. To me, like what I think of is like. I'm thinking like you might as well you know, send dude, it, bro. Dude, like it reminds, <laughs> dude. It honestly reminds me of like you know like young twenties like college days. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys ever did this, but I used to like drunk call and yeah. drunk dial. Yeah. Right, well, I used but, to with the star six seven, bro. You ain't gonna know it's me. Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously we know people who do it right, but I wonder if like I don't know. You think like celebrities do that shit, bro? Like yo, for, like yo, yo, Kanye is gonna love this shit. So speaking of Kanye, real quick. I seen like he's back on Instagram again. He like posted, I think, uh, what the hell was Fucking it? All, he, he, no, you, you know what he posted? He posted a picture of a McDonald's bag. That was his first post back. He's like, apparently he's like redesigning the McDonald's bag or oh, something. Oh, I saw for that. Them. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 re- he's <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like this, this guy is literally just all over the place. Dude, but fuck, uh, can we, can we send a prayer for Kanye, bro? Even though I don't like him, Joe, lead the, lead, let's send a prayer, bro. Send the toxic prayer to him. <laughs> I don't like him, bro, but, like, Shorty tripping, bro. Bro, When I say Shorty, I mean, like, I don't even really, I, I, ain't, I ain't no keeping up with the Kardashians, motherfucker, bro. But Ooh, you seen that shit? Okay. Kim, yo, yo, Kim, Kim is out here getting it right now. Bro, that's, that's what I'm saying, yeah. like, bro, that's yeah. crazy. Because, like, let's yeah. just say, you, you know, bro, like, dude, the, dude, these Kardashians, though, like, I, like, they want this publicity, for like, sure, like, they said like that they, shit like, on the like, show. They love this shit. Like they they watch everything that was going to be put on that show. They probably watched thirty five fucking times with their editor. They probably Absolutely. had shit Photoshop. They probably tweaked this that you know whatever. But um, dude, it was like two. I don't know if you guys seen it, but it was like 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 it was like two or three like days where it was like every single one of these like all those um all those like so, the, um, the blogs yes like all the like the big like you know pop culture social media sites shade room hollywood unlocked all the hood's finest like all those yeah um every single one of them was just like kim kardashian kim kardashian kim kardashian and there was two of them the 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 first one and this was like something on her show she was she was she was saying well i'll do anything um, to to look younger. Oh, to look, yeah, I saw that. To uh, look younger, um, and even if it involves eating poop. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> like, Kendall? like it, it sounds so obnoxious. Kendall fine as fuck, but not her. Like, Kendall, Kim Kardashian said that shit, bro. It sounds so obnoxious, but then once again, it's like I'm thinking about it. Like, okay, Kim, like, knows she said this. Like, Kim put it on, you know, the show. Knew it was gonna get blasted all over exactly. the, all over the internet. But like that, they love that. They love yeah. the attention. Any way to get their name in the spotlight. So it, it was, you know, that was the first one. And then it, it kind of ties into this whole, like... They followed up with the second Kind of like one. this, like, tracking and toxic and all this, that, and whatever. You have, like, you know, you know Kanye and, and Kim post-separation. You got, you got Kim now with Pete Davidson. Shout out Skeet. Bro. <laughs> with, yo, Skeet? Yo, yo, Skeet just straight swooped her up, bro. Dude. So if, if you haven't seen it, bro, so the clip is basically like, uh, you know, Kim is like talking to like her family, right? She's yeah. like, she says some shit, I don't know, but basically she was like, I heard Pete got that thing on him. I want to see what's good. So I hit up SNL, like, let me get Pete's number. She want, she literally <laughs> said, I want to see what this BDE is about. Yeah. Yeah. Shorty got four. What's crazy is that like, listen, that shit probably happens all the time. Yeah. Right. But people's lives aren't public. Yep. But like, bro, she's got four and whatever. You can have you can have four kids and still fuck whoever you want, whatever. But I'm saying yep. like this sh- like imagine you're Kanye, right? You're yep. like, man, I'm gonna redesign this McDonald's thing. You open up Instagram and you see your ex wife <laughs> saying, I wanna see what this BDE about. That's cool. Yep. Crazy, bro. Yeah. Here's Joe, what would you do, bro? You have a baby mama, you have four kids, and you're, like, not with her no more. And you see that, like, on her story. <laughs> Didn't Kanye send her, like, a whole truck full of flowers and shit? 
Okay. He's Con- romantic, bro. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> bro, Kanye. Dude, Damn. And and honestly though, okay, so this is this is why I don't blame. This is why I don't blame any of these celebrities for going off the deep end, being crazy. Their lives are so freaking public, and everyone knows everything that they do. Like the shit that like you're saying about Kim. There's there's millions of women like that yeah, yeah. out you know out in this world. They get they get out of a you know a, a shitty relationship, and you know they they want to go out and fucking forget about that guy and they want to see what that they, what that they, thing about they, they they need that bounce back dick. They trying Straight to see up. what that thing about. yeah yeah and uh, just as guys talk just as guys <laughs> talk women talk too. That hurts <laughs> ten times more though. Guy. Does that not hurt ten times more for? <laughs> I I think I it depends. You capping I mean, like a mojo. So you know <laughs> that shit would me, kill you, bro. Yo, to, that like, shit yo, would distract. Yo, yo, yo <laughs> like to me though, to, <laughs> bro. That shit would fucking distract. I don't care yeah. who you are, bro. Yep. It, I don't so, care. You okay. see your your shorties because the equivalent to like us regular people hey, like, is seeing on. that on a shorty story, bro. I think what makes it like so much worse though is it's like the it's the whole fact of okay, like. Like Kanye obviously knows Pete. They're all in this like you know celebrity world. Yeah, yeah. And it was like Kim did you know <sighs> that hard. SNL episode. Like I think she did probably a, a, like a few episodes on S. You know over the last few years, right? I think so. Yeah. There's been few episodes, so it's like for for Kanye She's been knowing them. <laughs> for 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 Kanye to probably oh have my God, bro. To, for Kanye to be able to have like that trust and loyalty in a relationship, like it's ten times worse if if your ex. Or a girl you used to see, whatever it is, if they hook up with someone that you either know or is like in like oh you know like your God, bubble, bro. that's dude, dude, that's that that's the sword, bro. Like, that's the dagger. That's what to she, me, to me, bro. Of course, cool, bro. Jude so, just put up a good point. She's probably been seeing him, like ah, uh, he cute. Yeah, you know what I mean. She, 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 uh, she bro. She's like a she like I right, yeah. like I see it's you. It's kind of like if your girl has coworkers. Oh my, what yeah. you mean, bro? <laughs> No, no, no. What no. the fuck, bro? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. I didn't. <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> the shit ain't even connected. What were you talking about? Hold on, no. Not talking about you. No, hold up. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. I, <laughs> no, I'm not talking about. I'm just saying no, in general. No, no. <laughs> I didn't, hey, my girl, I, you no, shorty, no. you quit your job. That's it. You fi- I'm firing you. I didn't mean as a your girl. No, I know. I'm fucking around, bro. <laughs> Nah, I'm saying, all right, you you know, you said like Kim's been seeing this dude, right? Like, yeah, or yeah, pass yeah. by him, or whatever. That's her job, right? To go to SNL. As I'm saying, is like when you have a shorty and she works somewhere, it's like her co worker, she's been seeing these dudes, and then. Damn, bro. Yo, but okay, that hold on, though. Too. Hold on, though. That's terrible. Bro. Honestly, and like, I feel low key bad saying this, but like, can you blame Kim? Like, bro, can you imagine dating Kanye? Are being married to him. Imagine how stressful that is. Like, dude, the guy, the guy is all over the place. It was um, not uh. uh, Chris Chris, just the uh, one that gave her the attention. Chris Jenner. Well, he was probably just minding his business. uh, Chris Jenner now. uh, What called? (laughs) Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Chris Jenner. (laughs) He was trying to see what that thing about. (laughs) Chris Chris now Caitlyn. Okay. So so Chris now Caitlyn. What is it? Um, it's Kate, Chris. It, it, it was. Oh no! It, 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 I don't even fucking know. Okay, <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner. Chris is the is their mom. Oh no no no! Oh shit! No it's uh, <laughs> no Bruce, Bruce Bruce. Oh shit! Bruce Wayne. Fucking Bruce Jenner. Bruce okay. Wayne, bro. Okay, Bruce Jenner. Okay, so Batman. So so Bruce. <laughs> he said Bruce. <laughs> Bruce now Caitlyn. <laughs> he okay. Said, he said Chris Kate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But no, so to that point, I was saying like how, how stressful it, it's got to be dating this guy. Um, uh, well, yeez, Bruce, bro. Bruce Jenner, now Caitlyn, um, there, there was a, an, an interview on, you know, Kim and, you know, Pete and like what he thought of it, whatever. Um, I don't remember exactly what he said, but he, he basically said how easy it is for Kim to uh, date Pete versus it was Kanye um, and how Damn. hard... And basically, how hard that relationship is, uh, or was, pretty much for her. 
Dude, I remember watching the or like seeing on like Shade Room or something. Hey, she needs a stylist, though, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Well, that's what I was gonna say, bro. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Actually, bro, because of one of the first pictures when you saw them together, Shardy's wearing Yeezys, bro. Oh yeah. You're wearing Yeezys to go get clapped by Skeet, bro? Yeah. I don't know. That shit is like so. Because <laughs> that shit's on purpose. Yo, bro. That's on purpose. Oh, dude. She, 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 dude imagine, she was, bro. Imagine dude, she you have was a, definitely doing that. That's what she's I'm saying. That, bro, imagine that. you have a, like, your shit's popping, bro. You got, like, like niche. Yeah. Right? And, like, let's just say you're with somebody and then, like, they're not. And then you see them. It's just a different example, but, like, that's yeah. crazy. Like, that's bro, it's like, don't get clapped hey. in the shit that I make. Hold on, hold yeah. on. That's <laughs> fucked. Dude. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, let's, let's throw this one out there. It's like if you see your ex wearing the sweater you gave her. Your sweater that you gave her with another guy with another guy oh. at the store. Oh my god! How would you feel, bro, running into your girl at Sam's Club and, <laughs> <laughs> and she's yes. wearing a sweater that you gave her? What the dude? What a new dude! You 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 going up to her now? Oh, I'm taking I'm that shit off. Shit back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you the think? lease nah, is nah, up. Nah, Give nah, me my yeah. shit. Yeah, nah. Nah, because nah, then you look hurt. Then you okay, look hurt. Okay. do that. But I am, bitch. Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, you actually bring up something like, like really good, okay? So you have an ex. You were buying her things, treating her well, all Ooh, that shit. Ask me. And ask me. I buy, jewel- right? I buy and, jewelry. And, ask me. And, and to and to your point, to your point, you guys go separate ways. Are you gonna be asking or taking any of that shit back? Yes. Hell. Jewelry? Hell. Give me my shit. Cause I only wow, buy nice shit. Bro. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what? Damn. Yeah. See, I'm, you know what? I'm, not, I'm not like that at all. Hey, you know what? Like, if I bought that shit, it, it's yours. Have you it. know why though? And and I, I wouldn't even want it back. I, I either. Do. But you know why though? You know why I wouldn't take it back? Because every time you see that piece, you're gonna think of me. Oh, do you know what though? <laughs> yeah. Yo, 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 yo. yo. Uh, yo. Right, let see, me change. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. See that shit. Every time you wear that sweater of mine, you gonna. You gonna feel me? See, in. I'm not toxic that's, anymore. That's why yeah. I don't think like that. No, but look, See, listen, you can't I'm kind of like that. No, that is true. Like, that is true. That is true. It, 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 it's like I would want that person to be like, she's gonna go grab her bag, or she's gonna like, you know, p- you know, put on something, and like she's gonna be like, yep, this guy took care hey. of me, bro. But, and, hey, hold on, hold on, and, hold on, hold on. Before we continue, before we continue. And now she's with some Busta. That <laughs> <laughs> busta, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, bro. Exactly. <laughs> you know, just a mess. No, no. But, but, uh, hold on. But before you continue, right? Because I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna say something, but. For example, like, if I see my, my ex shorty, right, rocking my sweater at Sam's Club, I was saying, right? At Sam's Club, huh? I'm just saying, you know, Sam, yeah, you Costco, you know, whatever. It up twice. But what I'm saying is, like, she was some, was some dude, I'm like, damn, she's still thinking to me, she's got my sweater on. But yeah, what's yeah. wild is she's probably telling dude, like, nah, this is my brother's sweater. No, nah, <laughs> yeah. this is my dad's sweater. <laughs> exactly. That's my cousin's sweater. Exactly. Damn, does that make me a bum if I want to take my shit back? Have you ever given a car? The fuck? No. So if you gift the car, I'm getting the car back for sure. Bro, I'm looking at a car like I'm looking at a pair of socks. Give me my shit back. <laughs> no, no. What are we talking no, about? See. I want to go back to what you said. Like when you see it, when you know, you were you're at Sam's Club, specific store. I don't know, strange, right? No, no. You're well, at Sam's Club. I was just there that time. I was there over the weekend. <laughs> right, right, right. And then um, you see her with your sweater, and you're like, oh, like she still thinks. But like, I remember I was I was messing with this one chick, bro. And I got her this this necklace, bro. I didn't get it from Pandora. It was like, it was like a jewelry store at the mall. It's where yeah. I live, right? I got her this like little heart pendant, and it was like little pink stones. And I remember I got it for her after like probably eight months that was, we were dealing with each other. Anyways, fast forward, we stopped. I didn't take that one back. But I remember I was like creeping on her shit. And like her like profile picture, she had the shit on. And like on Instagram, the last two pictures, she had the shit on. And it was like... That hurt, huh? Yeah, it hurt like a motherfucker, bro. Because I was like, number one, gave my shit back, but two is like, it, it did, but like I didn't really think about it. So right now, you said dude. it, yeah, yeah. she cut up the dude in the picture. Probably, probably she was all like this, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, it's one of those things where it's like, damn, why are you still wearing it? Because now you messing with me. Because you know I'm a yeah. creep on your shit. If it's yeah. fresh like that, like you know I'm, a, you're doing that to hurt me. You know, for what sure, I mean? toxic. Yeah, that's terrible. But like, no, I've gifted like you, watches you wanted, and shit. You wanted to hit her up and stuff, and you're like, damn. No, I couldn't do it no more. Well, that was a, to. I was probably like 19, 18, 19. No, I was the younger bro. 18. When uh, when I saw that, I was like, oh, shorty and shit. <laughs> They're just all young signs Chewy, though. Young Chewy just heartbroken over the heart necklace. I was terrible, bro. It was terrible. Yeah, you I mean, so toxic? Me? You feel? No, I, I go, no, I go to too much therapy to be toxic, bro. I need to find myself one of those. I got you. We live in, <laughs> a, we live in a world that promotes toxicity. 
Honestly. Yeah. All the music the and everything. The best music? Like, toxic shit. Toxic, bro. The best fucking mo- What's that TV show, bro? Where the yo, dude's crazy yo. and he's like following him. You? Sam's Club. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what's with you guys in Sam's Club? Bro, I just said Sam's Club. I'm just making fun yo, of you, bro. You both <laughs> are just been talking <laughs> about Sam's. Like, the only this reason- guy said Sam's Club like six times. That's why like, I'm now, saying. Now, now you're talking about Sam's Club. You been to Sam's Club? I go to Costco, bro. You know yeah, what Sam's Club is, though? They Club. got the free samplers. Same thing, too. Just got to say real quick while we're on this like supermarket talk. Costco is just brilliant with it. Bro, I just they li- like, stage. you literally just walk around the whole place, get a sampler of like five, six things like as you're shopping. All those little samplers, it's obviously not, like, not enough to fill you up. Then you check out, and there's these massive hot dog signs, $1.50. Oh, so slice of pizza. You be fucking freaking those up? Chicken bakes, bro. Yo, deadly. Bro, how are we supposed to get but, fit when you do like, like this? Dude, bro, you brought fucking I, dude, conchas. Bro, those were those were in your backpack. Get the fuck. You, this guy brought, bro, this, you brought bro, fucking bro, croissants bro, in, bro. Bro, you brought cheese dancers and, 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 and hey, bro. hey, just to clarify, I said that they're brilliant on what you do. I didn't say I actually ate the hot dog or I ate the pizza or anything I mean, like you that. get a glizzy stop capping. I did not. <laughs> well, he gets I, you don't sampler. get a glizzy? He gets Yo, a sampler for sure. The last two times, I definitely tap in the samplers. Nice little snack. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, big snack <laughs> guy. <laughs> yo, I, dude, I'm a huge snack guy. And the ones that I like He's, the I most, one. what I do. I know what you're So like. what I do is, is I, I, do the, I, do, I do the little hot lap. The little hot lap. How after, many times do you go around? And then after I've tried them um, all once... If there's a couple that I like, I'll go back and hit it again. Yep. I call it the stop and go. <laughs> and I, I began to glizzy Brian a lot. But, and then honestly, man, fire. those freaking hot dogs. This is so good. Bro, weren't bro, you just so cheating fire. this weekend? I didn't cheat. Bro, you were cheating this weekend. What did you eat? Oh, I, had, I went to Olives. Bro, you can't tell me nothing right now. I'm down 18 pounds now. That's crazy. That's fire, bro. Congrats. That's fire. Oh, yeah. Have you weighed yourself? I did, but I don't think my shit's right because it says I'm the same... <laughs> it says it's the same, but I've been doing all my shit. I don't smoke, we- bro. I don't smoke weed no more. Yeah, so I don't. I don't get those munchies. Late night snacks are out. It's terrible, bro. Yep. So I haven't smoked weed in like this is going on week three. I have. Awesome, man. I'll just drink on Saturday, but I don't really get hungry when I eat because I don't want to stop drinking. On family day, it's just family day Sunday. Oh, okay. You know, what's be great, Chewy, is we're gonna watch like the first episode of like the podcast, and then we're gonna be like months from now, oh, bro. and and we're gonna have. I'm going to be indistinguishable. Yo, honestly, I think we're just going to change your name to Big Sexy. Let's go. I'm, 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 a, I'm like Lizzo out here, cuz. I feel confident as a motherfucker, bro. When I'm in the water, bro. <laughs> Yo, he's, he's like Michael Phelps down in that pool. And just swimming. Can you swim? Can I swim? Is water wet, fool? <laughs> can I swim, bro? I can't Yo, swim. I can't Yo, swim. I got $1,000. I'll be both of you guys in a swim I can't in swim. the water. I mean, I a race. Swim. I can't swim. What you mean? I can hit a lap back and forth, but I can't swim. I'll drown. So what you, you just walk across the thing? How you how you get across? <laughs> three three feet pulling that's it. It's a wrap. You can't swim for real? No. Evan, can you swim? Bro, I, I yeah. I'm a savage in the pool, bro. I actually well, used to too. teach swimming lessons. Actually? Yep. Well, Crawl teach stroke. how to swim, bro. Crawl stroke, breast saw- breast stroke, side stroke, back stroke, bro. <laughs> savage in the pool, bro. You're gonna go I can't, sh- and then do a 360 and fly back. I can't do the side stroke, bro. Can't do the side stroke. I can hit the side stroke. I know. I can hit me. the fuck out of the <laughs> side stroke. <laughs> Guys, um, <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Uh, make sure you guys go to Instagram. Make sure you go to Before the Cut Podcast. Make sure you go follow. Go hit a like. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, go tell your friends. Make sure you hit us all up. All of our links will be in the description below. Go copy some. Oh, boy, my, my shit hasn't come yet. I ordered my sweats. They're at my house. Yeah, I, I totally forgot. Yeah, let's go. I got um, you. Make sure you go to Niche. Go, go get you some stuff. There'll be a discount code there. Make sure you book a cut if, with G over here at Sculpt. If you're in the Las Vegas area, make sure you come see me. Come high. Geo Scissor Hands. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.